Hey, my most amazing and wonderful artist, happy Earth Day. Today is in fact Earth Day. I'm recording this a week early for your enjoyment next week. We are going to be making a project in honor of Earth Day to reduce, reuse, and recycle some of our stuff that you might put in your recycling bin. So what I need you to do is find these clear plastics. My favorite plastic to recycle are those awesome cookie, yummy, softy cookie things that have like ridges in them from Target with the fun icing and yumminess every season. Um, those are cool because they have all those ridges in it, but you can use whatever kind of recycled plastic you would like. So what we're doing is we're gonna be inspired by insects for this last project and it's 2D to 3D. So of course, we're gonna ask you to draw a butterfly on manila paper or maybe draw a giant beetle. So you guys have learned about insects in science class and make sure that we're not just drawing some random cutesy thing. We wanna make sure that it has six legs, antenna, symmetrical, like all the parts, abdomen, all that stuff. So you're gonna do a little drawing and plan whatever insect you hope to do. So an example, we took this and we traced it onto actual shrinky dink material. So this was what I used and this is my now shrinky dink that I will eventually color. So you could find a template enclosed in this video link somewhere and more about recycled plastic also in the link to help guide you. So here is the one that I made. I don't know if you can see the light shining through it. This tiny little shrinky dink butterfly used to be this big when I colored it. That's how much it shrinks down. You can find actual shrinky dink stuff at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, etc. Um, another thing that I made, I took, this is like white melt carton or something and drew on there with permanent marker. I used other plastic from water bottles to make the six legs. I used a paper clip for the antenna and the body is model magic. So any way that you can reduce, reuse, and recycle to help Earth. And we are gonna be using everything permanent marker with this, okay? So draw, plan, decide on your kinds of butterflies or beetles or some other kind of fun insect and get ready to have some fun. So this week, they'll need to draw it out and decide on their materials. Correct. Okay, sounds Use good. Use crayons, whatever for your planning, but for the the rest of the project, you'll want some permanent markers. And we'll talk more about shrinking it down next week. <laughs>